Hi, this is Doc Case at the uh, Air Zoo in Kalamazoo, Michigan. We're going to take a look on the inside of our uh, Ford Trimotor here. This particular aircraft was built in 1929 and has flown with several different uh, airlines. Flew up in Montana, Alaska, and several different places. Come on in. Okay, the first we're going to look at back here is our bathroom. The, the passengers were told not to use it while they were on the ground or flying over a city. So we can move forward here. These are not the, net, the seats that this aircraft was built for or with. Uh, they were more of a lawn type furniture with, that were wicker. These were put in for modern day flying because we flew this up to about five years ago. This area here is where the wing goes through. The, the main spar of the wing goes through here. And if you look underneath here, there are several little doors here. And these doors, we could open up and stick our luggage inside here. And this is where the passenger's luggage would go. And of course, the carry-on would put in there. On each window beside each seat, we had these little air vents. We can either close it or open it. They can be spun around, so it'd be sucking air out, or back this way, so it'd blow air in. This is first class. Seating is up here. Not a whole lot different, but more head space. Okay, now we're on the flight deck. You see that this, the uh, flight control looks quite a bit like an automobile steering wheel. These didn't actually come from an automobile, but it's Ford built, so they made it look like that. The instrument panel is pretty basic. Since this airplane has been flying up until about five years ago, we had to have much more equipment in here. So this isn't like the equipment that this plane was built with. It had to put in extra radios, but here's our power controls, propeller controls. Down here, controls for the mixture, and these are the um, uh, magneto switches. Now, if you notice, there's little steps, like a ladder going up here, and we can get up under the wing and from uh, this area. And up on the wing, we could go out there and check uh, the fuel level, actually look into the tanks, or uh, do whatever maintenance needed to be done up on the front of this aircraft. 